Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome to the channel where I make how-to videos. Time to share what I've learned and I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to use animation montage to create a combo attack. So what are animation montage? Animation montages are animation assets that enable you to combine animations into a single asset and control the playback using blueprints. In this tutorial, we'll use one of the Paragon assets, the Greystone Paragon, and we'll quickly set it up as our player character. We'll create a new animation montage to be used in the existing Paragon character combo setup. We'll learn about the montage section and the animation notifies. Then I'll explain how the animation notifies and section can be used inside our blueprint. Let's go. So what I have here is the third person template. Um, I already have the Paragon Greystone added to my project here. Um, so if I go under the characters, uh, heroes, and then Greystone, you would see we have an animation blueprint and a an, uh, blueprint class, which is the player character. This two works hand in hand. So if I open up the player character, you would see some bunch of errors here. This is because the input mapping is using the old method, which is no longer um, available. So I could go ahead and just delete this. And we're going to retain the combo setup here. This one we're going to use. And I'm going to jump into the third person character here, blueprints, and open up the third person BP. And I'm just going to copy this input mapping plus the jump. And jump back into our Greystone player character and paste those. Move that a little down here. And when I save and compile, those warning and errors should be gone. Now I could go back to the third person here, go under world settings, under um, selected game mode, under default pawn class, I could swap out the BP third person with the Greystone player character. And let's quickly test it out. All right, so this is the Paragon character. It already has a built-in combo system, which we're going to reuse to make um, our setup faster. We're not going to try to recreate it. When I hit the left key here, you would see that the swing animation plays. Now, if I hold the left click while the existing animation is playing, it's going to play a different animation. You can see it made a backward swing. Now, if I do that three times, it's going to play the third animation. So that combo system is currently in place. Uh, let's have a look at how that was set up. So if I escape, go back to the player character and let's look at that combo system. So here it's kind of straightforward. It's using the left mouse button. If you have a controller it with the face button on the controller and this is basically checking if the player is attacking. If the player is attacking, if it's false, uh, you set that to is attacking. So it's not yet attacking, now it's attacking, set that to true. And we also save the attack as a save attack here. We So these are the variables created for this. And there's also an attack count. So the attack count here by default is zero. And we have a switch on integer here. So on the zero index, it's going to set the count attack to one. And it's going to play an anim montage. So the anim montage that it's playing is called uh, primary attack A. And on that particular anim montage, when it hits the particular playhead on the timeline, it's going to trigger this combo save attack again. It's going to check if it's true. If it's true, it's going to set it to false. And because the combo attack is still um, is 1 here, it's going to play the index 1 here and set the attack count to 2 and then play a different animation, which is the primary attack B. And then if you're still playing this one and you left click, it's going to play it on the index 2, which would be um, attack and set the attack count to zero and play the animation C here and then it's gonna repeat the cycle cool so that is in a nutshell what it's doing 
don't worry if it doesn't make sense we're gonna try to recreate it and it would make a lot more sense cool so let me jump here and go back to the graystone folder and go under animations and let's open one animation here all right so i'm gonna pause this and under the asset browser here i'm gonna search for primary you would see we have um an animation sequence and an animation montage here so you know it's an animation montage because it has a montage at the end and the icon color is blue or purple and then if i open this anime montage you would see it has a couple of things going on in here so if i pause this um you would notice there's a slot it's called default group upper body slot i'll talk about that in a minute and there's also a notify here so if i move the playhead under frame 42 there's a save attack notify i could right click on any section here and add notify and i could create a new notify or i could uh, select existing notify that was created so there's an existing notify called save attack and reset combo so when the playhead is here it's gonna fire that notify whatever blueprint implemented uh, save attack it's gonna fire off and around 82 it's going to reset that combo. So where are these two use? So let's open up the animation blueprint. And let's go on the event graph. And down at the bottom here, you would see that there's an event called anim notify save attack and anim notify reset combo. It's uh, getting the pawn owner and casting that to the graystone player character and then it's calling this um, combo attack save uh, function and this reset combo function so that's why these two are working hand in hand if we jump back to the graystone character here you will notice this, this is the combo attack save that is calling and the reset combo so if the animation uh, played throughout it's gonna set the attack out to zero and untick the save uh, attack, set it to false, and is attacking, set it to false. So if I go back to here, uh, maybe if I just tick here, yep. If I go to the animation sequence here, you would see save attack. It would call the animation blueprint. Animation blueprint will, will cast it and call the um, method inside the uh, graystone character which is this one uh, for save attack if it finished the animation over here it would reset the animation and then go back to its normal pose so that's the way it, it it's structured and you notice this is just one single animation sequence so we're gonna try to recreate this into our own so to do that I'm gonna jump back to the um, animations folder here and I'm gonna search for the primary attack sequence primary a right click create and select any montage and I'm gonna rename this to graystone underscore montage right because I started off with the with an animation created a, an animation from an existing sequence that is the first slot that it would show in here that's the first section that would show attack primary a now I could grab the attack primary B drop it here and attack primary C drop it here you could see just one and anim animation montage but I could have several animations inside now at the moment if I play this it's gonna play them throughout so what we need to do is divide them by sections so if i move the playhead around here and then right click and select new montage section i can say this as attack b and move this a little bit so you could grab it and move it to the timeline that works so just about there it's going to end then immediately there and do the same thing here gonna position it that frame right click select this and I'm gonna call this attack C 
and maybe move this a little bit so that it is in perfect position. Cool. Now, if I play this, it's still going to play sequentially. That's because we have this arrow here on the default section here. There's an arrow pointing and then on attack B, there's an arrow pointing there. This is actually saying after this animation finishes, play the next animation. So to remove that, go to the montage section here, this tab, and select the default here. And uh, beside it, you would see what it's going to do. It's going to play attack B and then it's going to play attack C. So basically just click here and remove the link and that you remove that. And from attack B to attack C, you're going to remove the link. Um, then quickly save and now if I go to the section and just hit play it's just gonna loop into that section and same thing if I move it here on the attack B section it's just gonna loop on that section so that's how it works so let's go back to the uh, Greystone character here look at the anime montage here so right now it's playing three different montages so we're gonna swap this out to our Greystone character. If you don't define a section here, if you say none, it's just going to play the default section. And for the other montage here, we say Greystone montage, and this one is going to be Attack B. And for the third montage, play any montage, we're going to say Greystone montage, and then Attack C. All right, so I'm going to compile this, save, and test this out. So when I hit play, all right, when I hit the left click button, nothing is happening. It's not playing the animation. That is because if we jump back to our Greystone montage here that we created, the default slot is called default slot. If you notice the previous montages, it was using upper body. So if we swap that to default slot upper body, save, and then try it again. All right. If I left click, it's now going to swing the sword. But if I click again, nothing's happening. It's now it's no longer playing the animation. All right. So what is happening? So if we jump into the animation blueprint here. And go to the anim graph. So first, let's discuss the slot. So the slot. So this is the normal locomotion pose that it would do, and it would then transition to whatever animation montage that you have. So it depends on the slot that you put in here. So because it's upper body, the upper body slot is the animation that would play. And then that would be called when you have a custom input from the third person character. Cool. All right. Now we would jump to the event graph here. If I scroll down here, we're not saving the attack and we're not resetting the combo attack. So we need this notifies to be available on our montage here. So if I go to the asset here and just quickly inspect one of this montage you would see around frame 42 it's uh, doing the save attack and around frame 85 it's doing the reset attack so we need to do the same so going back to our montage so we created the graystone montage so around 42 here I'm just gonna wing it I'm gonna go under the notify here gonna right click and click add notify and select save attack and around 85 here gonna right click add notify reset combo save play All right so when I click click it's gonna reset it when I click while the animation is, is playing it's gonna do that other animation but then it doesn't reset the animation so we need to do the same thing on this animation we need to save the animation and then reset it so I'm just gonna wing it just anywhere in the timeline here add notify save attack so 
and then around here so you may need to resize your playhead here so that you could right click on a particular space and then select that and I'm gonna do the same with this attack C once it's finished ringing I'm gonna say add save attack and then around here say add notify reset combo save I hit play I could swing do another swing and do another swing so there you go you manage to combine all animation sequences in a single montage and use it in our blueprint so hope you like this tip thumbs up thumbs down please subscribe to the channel cheers bye for now